Welcome to this video, in which we will look at the most recent updates to the WooCommerce MailChimp newsletter discount extended plugin. But before that, please subscribe to the Zatomatic channel and click the bell icon to never miss any future videos. The most recent edition, includes some of the most frequently requested features, which we are pleased to provide. Custom placeholders for email, first name, last name, empty first name, and empty last name fields are among these features. Furthermore, you can now make the first and last name fields mandatory. You can now change the placeholder text to suit your needs, such as changing it to your native language or adding any text you want. We've also added the email notification option, which will send you an email whenever someone subscribes to your newsletter. Please stay tuned as we go over these new features in greater detail. This is an example of placeholder text for the email field. After adding the placeholder text, save the changes. As you can see, the email placeholder now contains the text that we specified in the settings. We'll now try the first name and email display fields, and then add text to its placeholder. Check this box if you want the first name field to be required. Enter the error text that will appear if someone forgets to enter their first name and when the first name field is made mandatory. Then save the changes. As you can see, the placeholder text is visible as specified in the settings. And, when someone forgets to fill out the first name field, the error text appears. Similarly, you can specify the last name placeholder, make it mandatory, and add the error text for empty last name. Then save your changes. As you can see, the custom placeholder texts for the first name, last name, and email are all present. If we only enter the email address and leave out the first and last names, errors will appear. Now, let's check out the email notification feature. Check the box to receive email notifications when someone subscribes to your newsletter, then enter the email address where you want the emails. Then, either change the email subject and message or leave them as they are. Let's now fill out the newsletter pop-up and see how the admin will be notified of the subscriber via email. As you can see, the email notification was received. Similarly, you can enter your email address and be notified when someone subscribes to your newsletter. I hope you enjoy the video, if so, please like it, leave a comment with any questions or suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.